Today's adventure is Aesthetica's Mackenzie in the color Caramel Kiss. Um, it's going to be a little hot today. I think it's going to be in the 80s, 78, I think, 80. But I think what I wanted to do was try to wear Mackenzie up so that it wasn't that hot. Um, I don't know. I just felt like having a wig and an updo today. I've been watching uh, Best 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 hair and she's always doing updos and so got me wanting to do an updo. So this is Mackenzie, the Carmel Kiss, beautiful highlights in there. And she is a lace front. So let's show you the inside cap. Well, let me just talk to you for a minute about the color Carmel Kiss because it doesn't have numbers. It's described as a golden brown with light copper blonde highlights. And this is my book that I keep track of everything. I brand, have the tabs by brand and then I write all of the details about the wig and then I write, um, you know, when I've washed it and I'm gonna be putting pictures in in my Paula Young book and in my Amazon book, I did all the pictures already, but I'm gonna be putting the pictures, I have the pictures in the other books. Um, but just wanted to show you, this is what I use to keep track of my wigs. And so Mackenzie is described as below the shoulder layered cut with natural flare and side swept bangs. Her bang, oh, let me put her on. Let me, let me actually walk through the, before I talk about the, the measurements. Let's look at her inside cap. So she's got a lace front, nice lace front. It's not ear to ear, it's just temple to temple. We've got clothes wefting here. We have open ears. We've got an extended nape, just basic extended nape. And we have hook adjusters. We have all open wefting in the back. And Aesthetica is usually very stretchy and usually runs very big. Now I am going to wear the Milano wig rib cap, but um, I'm gonna use the lace one now I had um, messed it up where I had a lot of fringe. So I took some really fine, um, makeup scissors and well, my little tiny scissors anyway. Anyway, I'm wearing the lace Milano wig rib cap today because this is a lace front. Now, I don't know if I'm going to match up the middle, but anyway, Want to make sure that we've got, I just wanted to wear the lace one today. All right, so we've got our wig grip cap on again. That's the Milano wig grip cap. And I wear the wig grip cap because it seems to help better with the lifting up in the back. Um, I don't have it as much when I wear the cap together versus a basic wig grip. All right, so let's put Mackenzie on. See what we got. She's one of my favorites. And when I put her on, I always try to put the back underneath that wig rib cap for extra security. Let's fix her up here. Make sure she's in the right spot. And fix the ear adjusters. Okay, isn't she beautiful? All right, so let's talk about her measurements. So her measurements are the bang is nine inches. So we've got a really long bang. We've got the sides nine and a half. We've got the crown is 11. And then the nape in the back is 13 inches. And her weight is 4.73 ounces. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, I don't know if I want to put her up because maybe I just want to leave her down. She's not that long. Her density, uh, let's see what we got for permatease. So for permatease, 
She doesn't have a lot of permatease. She's got permatease underneath the nape back hair in the back. She's got permatease down in there. Let's see where else they feel permatease. Oh, I might wear her down. This is gorgeous. She doesn't have a lot of hair, which you would think maybe she did. No, it's just really down in the back. There's not uh, there's not a lot of permatease in the, up in here in the crown either. I'm not really feeling it. Oh, do I want to put her up or do I want to leave her down? Let me show you all four sides while I have her down. Oh, she's gorgeous. I love this color on me too. This is really pretty. All right, so here's my right. Here's everything to the back. Let me step forward to make sure you can see it. And then here's the left. So what I was thinking to do was to take it and do an updo, but I don't know. I think I like it down better. So I think what I'll do, because we're going to go out for the day, is I'll just take the clip with me, and if it gets hot, I'll clip it up. But I'm going to try to give it a go with it down, because I think this is gorgeous. Yeah, I love Mackenzie. I love Mackenzie. So what else? Uh, let me show you. So she fits really good here. Now cap-wise... See, now I don't have the problem with Mackenzie that I was having with Ocean with that, that so large of a cap. It just, it fits, it feels like it fits just so much better. So we've got good, really good coverage with the ears. It's right, right to the tip there. Oh yeah, I love this. So what else? Um, so I bought her off of Beauty Nook. For $125.96, so she was fairly inexpensive. Now, I have to tell you, I was buying my wigs exclusively from Beauty Nook. I love them, but I've since had a problem where I have a large amount of money that I have paid, and I have five wigs that have not been delivered going back as far as October. So I'm having a problem getting my orders canceled and getting my money back and or even getting the wigs. So I've got wigs I've ordered from October, November, January, February, and March that I have not yet received. And it's over a thousand dollars worth of money. So I'm a little disappointed with Beauty Nook right now. So I don't know if you guys order from them. They used to be my favorite company and I was ordering exclusively from them, but I am running into some delivery problems. So just wanted to give you guys heads up on that, just in case wanted to share my experience. But anyway, so this is Mackenzie from Aesthetica in the color Caramel Kiss. This is what I'm wearing for today and I will show you my outfit and I will come back and let you know at the end of the day what she looks like or what she, you know, how she did. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love this today. Yeah, I was thinking, I, I don't know if I should glue it down because I'm going out for like the whole day, but I think I'm not gonna, she feels really snug. So I'm gonna leave it like this and uh, show you my outfit. And then again, I'll come back at the end of the day. All right, thanks for stopping by. All right, this is my outfit for today. I'm just wearing shorts with this really pretty yellow top and I have yellow sandals to match with my white earrings, my white bracelet. Uh, we're just gonna go hang out and sit by the beach for the day. Uh, it's not really the beach, it's like a, a dock. We just like to watch the water, but you know, it's summer's almost over. So it's a little warm out today. So I just put on shorts and we're just gonna take off for the day. So this is what I look like for today. And I will come back and let you know how the wig wore for the end of the night. So thanks for stopping by. Hi everyone. So here's my end of night. Um, let me talk to you about Mackenzie and how she did for today. 
So I went out, um, I don't know, I was out for three, four hours. Um, we went, we sat and had a picnic, sat and watched the boats. Um, she was not too hot. I was very surprised. It wasn't as hot out as I expected. So that was really good. Um, her ends, I don't know if you can see, her ends are getting very dry. And my notes don't have her being a heat safe wig. So what I'm gonna try to do is um, use, first I'm gonna try the hot air brush and, and um, you know, comb through and do a hot air brush treatment on these first and see if that um, helps it. The other thing is I use the Aesthetica shampoo and conditioner and it's got a really strong smell. Now the fibers felt soft and good after I washed them, but on my head all day today, it's not, they're not, um, they're not loose and flowing. It's very stiff. Um, the wig, beautiful, looks beautiful, but like when I put my hands to it, it's, it's stiff and clumped together, which I didn't like. So, um, yeah, so I, I think I'm gonna try a different shampoo. I think I have a couple other options that I purchased before. See if the, you know, and but this is an Aesthetica wig. You would think that the Aesthetica shampoo would work the best on it. But the wig did not move off my head. So fit wise, perfect. I'm 21 and a half. So it didn't, didn't move at all. I felt very comfortable. Didn't lift in the back. Um, as you can see, it didn't really flop. So she did really good. Um, otherwise, uh, obviously she's not, you know, a little knotted in the nape and things like that, but that's to be expected with a long wig. But um, I highly recommend Mackenzie over Reeves. Reeves is basic cap and Mackenzie is fairly almost the same style, but she's a lace front. So if you can get, I would, pref I would recommend Mackenzie over Reeves. Um, and she doesn't have all of the permatease that Reeves has. Reeves has a lot of permatease, a lot of permatease. So, and I have lipstick on only because I just took my pictures for the trailer, um, not because it didn't, it, it, it wore out for the rest of the day, don't worry. Um, I don't look like this at the end of the day. I just freshened up my lipstick for pictures. Um, so that's my recap on Mackenzie for the end of the day. Loved, loved her, loved how it looked. I love the color on me, love the style. Um, the length is perfect, it's not too long. You know, it's a, a long style wig, but it's not like super, super long. So she did good. I felt very comfortable in her all day today. It's just, again, when I touch her, you know, the fibers just feel, you know, clumpy. See that it's just clumpy. It's not loose and, you know, flowing. But that could be, you know, again, like I said, the shampoo that I used. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try washing her in a different um, shampoo and conditioner. Uh, anyway, if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe and join my channel. And for those of you that have subscribed, I love you and thank you so much. I appreciate every one of you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.